Can accelerationists help bring on Christ's second coming? What? Hello, this is Chart GPT today. I'm going to look at the topic of accelerationism. Uh, it's got a lot of meanings behind it, so we thought we'd take a look at it. And you might say, well, what is it? We'll try to see if we can define it here. Here's the recent uh, search term on Google Trends. Interesting to see who's uh, thinking about this and not thinking about it. It has been on the rise uh, for quite some time here. And uh, the countries that seem to the biggest country is China. What are they worried about? Why are they? What are they accelerating to? Of course, uh, uh, Europe, uh, Middle East, and uh, North America, they're all part of that as well. The rest of the world is kind of like what's going on there. So let's take a look at some meanings here. Here's one of the more, uh, I should say, positive. It's basically, uh, and they call it effective accelerationism. E slash ACC is the buzzword there. It's a philosophy of the movement that advocates for explicit, explicitly pro-technological stance. They want to advance, let you know, take the barriers off of technology and let it advance using artificial intelligence to solve poverty, war, climate change, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's kind of a counter punch to the doomers and uh, uh, decelerationists so to speak. So there's that view of it and you know it's driven by recent uh, here's a kind of a term in terms of altruism. It's been on the rise since uh, oh since the 2012s. Different terms people are trying to be becoming more altruistic and positive about it, and they want to accelerate that. Of course the more the darker side here acceleration is the idea that capitalism or various processes attached to it should be deepened or accelerated in order to prompt radical change. Of course this comes from it has its origins back in Mar uh, Marxism, and Karl Marx wanted to accelerate capitalism so it would end in doom and failure so that they could usher in their communist uh, regimes. So, so that's kind of a left-wing ideology. So people often ask in the news, why are people doing all this stuff? They're, they're tearing apart the world. Well, that's their goal. They, they're accelerationists. And so it's kind of a radical view from the left. And, uh, you know, things like climate change, maybe you can see that things like climate change is part of that. Uh, they're trying to accelerate the the fear factor to to commit to radical change in terms of climate crisis, climate emergencies. So you can see that recent rise there. Of course, there some others will say it's a right wing ideology. It's about uh, people trying to bring on white supremacy, trying to create race war through violence. Uh, they reject the ballot box. They want to do it through more uh, violence. And you see this a lot of mass shooters are trying to accelerate. You know. The, the world into chaos uh, so that when out of the that chaos will become their white dominated future so that's kind of a uh, they call it far right I'm not sure it's far right what it is but it's more of a, a radical view of of accelerationism so that's one thing and then of course the other thing here since being this a uh, Sunday thing getting into Sunday thoughts there's this Christian accelerationism accelerationism it's a belief in hastening the second coming of Christ uh, we ask, well, does God need help? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, my, I suspect for those that uh, believe in God uh, that he doesn't need help, he can probably figure it out on his own. But nevertheless, uh, and for those that don't believe in God, it doesn't matter whether you or, or I believe in it. It's what the masses believe in, so that you will live in the same world, so it's going to affect you one way or another. And so the concept there is they're going to trigger Armageddon through nuclear warfare, thereby compelling God to fulfill his promise of intervention. So there you go. It also, more, more recently here, is people feel that the destruction of the Dome of the Rock Mosque of the Temple Mount, which is believed by many Christians and Jews to be a sign of the Messiah's imminent arrival. So, of course, you, I don't have to tell you what that would mean if, some, if those missiles start flying back and forth, and oops, the Dome of the Rock gets destroyed. So that's going to affect you whether you believe in God or not. Anyway, it is what it is. But here I point this chart out here. I found this chart, which is quite interesting, among U.S. Christians. 79% believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's a lot. But what's interesting is that I circled it in red here. Can people and nations affect when Christ returns? 23% think they can. They think they can convince God one way or another to come or not come. You know, they used to look at different people with minimum uh, silos to make sure that they don't uh, get to be accelerationists thinking well let's bring on Armageddon because that'll force God to come on down. There's a couple of verses in the biblical it kind of implies that in some ways you might think God's moving slowly on the other hand he indicates he doesn't like to mess around. There's a couple of verses there in Romans and Amos but here's one that kind of stuck out at me 
when Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him, and Jesus said to Judas, you know, he was the one that betrayed Christ, whatever you do, do it quickly. So any nasty things at the end of the world, which is supposed to be like in the days of Noah, shall be in the end times, whatever the bad things happen, do it quickly. So God doesn't want to mess around. And here's that promise. If God doesn't make this time shorter, no man will be left alive. That was in the, uh, the Sermon on the Temple Mount there. Because God's chosen ones, he will make this time shorter. And of course, everybody thinks they're the chosen ones, and so he's going to make it shorter for them. But no one knows the hour, no one knows the day, even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, Christ, but only the Father. So I suspect it won't uh, require us to help him out. He can figure it out on his own. But after looking the, at these accelerationism, is it a dangerous ideology? that could lead to catastrophic consequences, take our online poll. Follow the uh, post link in the description box to answer that polling, and you can see the also the AI's dissertation on what acceleration is and is not. And it's not necessarily a left or right wing pl uh, philosophical political concept, so you might want to see what it really is. But you're going to hear more and more of this as time goes on. In any case, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe.